everyone. Welcome to the Journey to Health collab, uh, week six. This week, the question is, how do you deal with negative talk from other people? And I kind of wanted to answer this two ways, the way I used to deal with it versus the way I deal with it now. I've really come a long way in feelings of self-worth and self-esteem over the last, uh, I would say, year or two. Uh, I had a lot of emotional issues and mental issues uh, growing up from my teen years as a result of bullying and just feelings of low self-esteem. And so I would always take negative or perceived negative things to heart and let those things drag me down. And it took me a long, long time um, and lots of help and counseling and um, I did some work with Reiki and energy healing and things like that to try to build up my self-worth and self-esteem. And so I've found that as that's increased um, over the past year and a bit, my reaction to such things has shifted um, where I used to take things to heart and let them drag me down. Now, I take more of the approach that Sergeant Fit talked about in his video for this week, where he said that he kind of analyzes it quickly to see if it's a valid, constructive thing that, that I could, you know, possibly improve upon. Because there are times where people are just looking out for you and wanting to provide help and you know things that you could possibly work on and change within yourself. But then other times it's just people being people and we all have failures and weaknesses and we can sometimes put our foot in our mouths and you know say things that we don't mean to say so I just tend to these days not internalize and let negative things affect me as much as they did before things that people say will still hurt but you have to focus on the fact that things that people say and do has no correlation to who you are as a person and the self-worth that you have, the two are not connected. You can be your own person and happy with yourself on your own and anything that anybody else does around you, if it's negative, can have no bearing. It might still hurt a little bit, but overall, it's important to get to that place where you realize that it doesn't have a bearing on who you are as a person. So. It might take a while to get to that place. I know I still, it's a, a work in progress at times where you can be a little bit more sensitive than others, but once you get to that place where you realize that you are your own person, then it's easier to let what people say or do, like Sergeant Fitz said again, roll off your back like water off of a duck's back. So hope that uh, was some helpful information. And I'm so grateful, um, as always, to be a part of this Journey to Health collab and uh, check out all of the other contributors in this collaboration. Their links are all below. And tune in for question seven next week. Okay, bye.